got people of Despelot, aka Fresh Mark Sims. We met in the wheel every time I run around this hit table. What are we doing today? Amber fragrances for summer. Summer fragrances, well, we want something fresh usually. We want something that would uh, be relaxing. We've done relaxing fragrances in the past, the green fragrances. But amber fragrances, they can't be too spicy if you were to have them in summer. But to have an amber fragrance that works shows that you know how to deliver a soft sweetness uh, that is seasonally appropriate. So these are fragrances that uh, you could wear for summer, but some of them are a little bit too deep and uh, they'll be for colder weather in summer, let's say. So let's get straight into it. Amber summer fragrances. Summer amber fragrances, whichever way you want. Amber Imperial by Van Cleef and Arcos is an inspirational scent when I think of summer fragrances this is just light enough to have the spark of amber with a resinous touch that reminds us of the glowing amber rock and this is almost like a milestone in amber this is a, a cornerstone that has to touch it has to be bright it has to be effervescent it has to have a glow to it and be slightly resinous Another cornerstone marking this on is the other definition of amber, not the fantasy of a glowing amber rock, but ambiguous, because some people say that the fantasy of amber came from ambiguous rock, which is the sediment, let's say, uh, from a whale when all the sea minerals and rocks and different things uh, go into the back of a sperm whale's mouth. Uh, it produces a sort of mucus and that. And the rocks that form from that dry forming is ambiguous rocks, and you can find them on the sea. Um, I've never found one, but apparently you can find them on the sea. And they smell like this from Upper Summit Obereshi, the Regent Street store. I recommended it in my last video, uh, one of their fragrances. They have this amber, and this is royal amber. This smells very... Um, It smells salty, it smells fresh, it smells mm, smooth. It has a musky aspect to it, slightly leathery and uh, sweet. It has a resinous touch too, which is similar to that glowing amber. But it's a sweet, almost like orange and honey at the same time. So it's very similar to the color that is coming out of this bottle. I wish you could see this a little bit closer, this orange bottle. Um, that's the thing. Right. So that is the natural colour of amber. So these are two cornerstones we're going to touch on. And one fragrance that comes to mind as a summer scent that's always applicable for summer because it's so light effervescent and it features orange blossom to plume up even further with great projection. Givenchy pie. Yes, this is, um, hmm, it has mandarin orange, which emulates this natural glow of amber that, that happens in the first stage. It's not, uh, in Van Cleef and Arpel's Amber Imperial, it's not emphasized as much because they don't, they do have mandarin orange, but it's not as uh, projecting. It's a more gentlemanly, sophisticated, uh, sexy, alluring scent, I'd say, because it's, uh, it draws people closer and has a vanilla caramel aspect. Whereas this, this has the benzoin and vanilla. It has that caramel but it has that extra orange blossom to push it at, forward and make it effervescent. It reminds me of honeysuckle. That's it. Honeysuckle. So this smells like honeysuckle. There is a little bit of neroli in here to keep it light and fresh. Orange blossom I mentioned before. Um, mm. Ah yes, it has slight green notes as well, like tarragon, which is um, a green herb note. But I don't want to bore you with that. It's pretty much a cheaper version of Van Cleef and Arpels um, Amber Imperial. So this is what you get if you want Amber Imperial on a budget. Definitely check out Givenchy Pie. It is 
not really less of a perfume, it actually projects more. However, it has slightly less complex fiance. No, actually, it's very, uh, it's very well laid actually for a, for any market fragrance. It's fantastic fragrance. So definitely, it's light enough for summer, and this is a little bit dark and resinous, and this is slightly less a touch. Now let's go into something that might be too spicy, but you could try, you could wear it in summer, but don't overwear it. So. We're going to a spicy one, Abdul Samad Al Qureshi Caramel Body Oud. And the reason why I brought this out is because I love the sparkle of this. However, it is quite spicy for summer, so let's give it a little spray. And you get, see what this is, these are actually oud pieces in the fragrance. I don't know whether you can see it, it's oud, oh my gosh, okay. Well, I shouldn't tip that upside down. Well, I don't know how that happened, it just dripped out. So, it's spicy, it's uh, got the dry oud and sort of cedar oud uh, by this. Definitely the Arab oud, which is like bahur oud, which is dry, smoked, slight spiciness from cinnamon, and there's a black pepper punch. This is fantastic in winter time, however, it doesn't really last that long. It lasts about four, four hours uh, in winter time, four, maybe uh, six hours of spiciness lasts longer. But uh, I think in the summertime, if you were to wear this, it would be, it does turn quite spicy, almost like a, a slightly turmeric, slightly turmeric vibe. Uh, or cumin, which is a, um, like, like a aromatic bakery sort of vibe, like fennel seed almost. So it is slightly herbal in summertime with that spiciness, but I'd say this is the borderline of spiciness, where you can have that sparkle and sweet resinous caramel nature but just air on the touch of uh, spicy, not too spicy. That's the spiciest I would ever go. And then, this is uh, something that Prada has been talking about for a long time with Amber for Hom. So, Amber for Hom, Eau de Toilette. Now, apparently, it's discontinued. You cannot find this anywhere. Um, I'm recommending it just because uh, the smell of amber is coming from myrrh. So some amber perfumes are coming from the resinous side, some are coming from the ambiguous side, let's say. That's why I have these here. This has orange blossom to uh, film it further. Uh, Mandarin seems to be a constant theme when emulating the sparkle of amber. And when you want, when you want a deeper, more resinous uh, aspect, they mix the two, so they have ambroxin in this fragrance, so it feels like the musk from amber in ambiguous, and the resinous nature from the myrrh, and then the sparkle is captured with the mandarin orange. There is a slight touch of, I like the muskiness of the hair, it's not overpowering, it's not too feminine. Uh, some people might think it's too soft or light, and would want a more bold fragrance, but for summer I think this is a fantastic breath of fresh air. Uh, it's very gentlemanly, very soft. I'd heavily recommend it, but I don't like recommending things that are mm, discontinued, let's say. I'm only putting it over here because I think that this is a true interpretation. Well, it, it's another true interpretation of amber. There's lots of different facets of amber. I'm just bringing it out for you. So, what could you wear in summertime that is too cloying uh, or just enough sweetness? Because amber has sweetness. We've talked about resin, we've talked about saltiness, and uh, so we've talked about resin and sparkle um, uh, from myrrh uh, uh, in some cases, uh, myrrh in some cases, uh, this one has labdanum and benzoin, this has benzoin, this has uh, a slight spiciness to enhance the sparkle uh, with the pepper. And now we're going to talk about very dark 
uh, uh, or um, a sweet uh, perfume. Now, the problem with some summer perfumes, they could be cloying and they could be uh, overly sweet. So we're going to go for one, which I think is perfect for a cool summer night. Armani Code Eau de Parfum. It's got a gold top and a black bottom, which is Armani Code Eau de Parfum. Because I got it wrong when I ordered this. Actually ordered it. So I ordered another one. That was similar. Oh yes. I ordered this by accident. I ordered Armani Code Absolute. But, uh, I do like both of them, but I prefer this one for nighttime. Armani Code Eau de Parfum is my favorite out of the range for a summertime cool fragrance. It has the sort of Pepsi, sparkling Pepsi freshness of that olive leaf and and Armani Code Eau de Toilette original, but it has an extra something. It has an extra ambery sparkle, which is, I think it's either the way how they use the Tonka bean or maybe because there's some saffron or cardamom in it. It's fantastic. But uh, I looked at the notes and only the uh, Armani Code Absolute Gold and uh, Armani Code Absolute have saffron in. But this is the sweetest out of the two. Uh, this has apple in it too. So this is apple and saffron. And this is a much cooler and cooler and fresher affair. So if you want something that is going to be sparkling and very sweet. I think this is much better than one million. This is my one million. Armani Code Absolute Gold is my one million. And I was looking for a fragrance like this because I was actually about to buy Philip Klein's No Limits Gold. And I was thinking, what other fragrances do I have that I have to read? I've got so many other fragrances that have the sparkle, the resin, or the... Um, the sort of musky uh, ambroxin, um, was it salty freshness of amber? So what what do I need more actually? Uh, I'm thinking there are winter fragrances, but this is just on the borderline for the coldest. So we done a hot summer night and a cold summer night, and for maybe a breezy summer night, I'd actually recommend this for winter most of the time. But we're just bringing it out because it's old school and forgotten. Azara for Hom Intense. Maybe you thought you'd never see this again. Something from the 80s. Back for you. And it's still popular today. I'm going to um, ask you at the end, actually. Please let me know in the comment section which one do you like more. Armani Code Absolute Gold or Armani Code Eau de Parfum. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I try and put a poll out there as well to let you guys vote on that. But back to Azara for Home Intense. What is different about this and why, why has this uh, stood the test of time? Cold and brief fragrance. We've got rum, cinnamon, cedar, hmm, and almost like a golden oudy like shower gel feel so it feels fresh in a shower gel masculine way masculine shower gel way you've got the booziness of the rum you've got the sweetness of the amber it has some fresh cedar to uh not make it too viscous let's say otherwise it'll be like just the liquid of the shower gel the cedar makes it minerally fresh so it's not just um uh too let's say thick or opaque as a scent, gives it some sparkle, otherwise it would come on a bit flat if it was just one heavy scent. So I think uh, this is quite dark. I wouldn't really wear it for a hot summer's day, but definitely for a cool summer night. Uh, and you get a lot of those in Britain because summer is quite unpredictable. So whatever you do, people, stay free and stay fresh. Pow, pow. Which one am I going to spray today? I think the winner is Amber Imperial. My personal favorite.